Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be working on the master cylinder, slave cylinder, and the line that runs in between. So this being a stick shift car already, uh, it does have a different style of master and slave than the 95 six speed car that I got my transmission kit from. So I'm going to replace that all and I'm going to put all new slave cylinder, all new master cylinder, but I am going to use the donor stainless hard line and hose because that's completely fine to reuse. So I'm gonna take the old stuff off. We'll look at the differences in between those and get that on the car. All right, so this is where the clutch master cylinder is. It's right on the firewall there. And there are two 13 millimeter bolts holding it on. And then there's just the line you can see at the top there. So I'm gonna just start unbolting this. I have an extension and a swivel socket to get that bottom one there. So I've removed the cap here and I was able to get a 14 millimeter open end wrench down here on this line. I did spray it with some WD-40. So I was able to get in here and kind of loosen this a little bit just so it's easier to get off and pull the master cylinder out. Okay, so I have it unbolted from the firewall. The line's unhooked, here are the two bolts. So all I have to do is go in the inside of the car by the pedal and unclip it from there. Okay, so right up in there, is a little clip that you're going to pull out and then we're going to slide that out and i'll show it better to you once i get it out of the car but that's where you're going to kind of climb up in here and pull that out there all right so this is my master cylinder i just pulled out as you can see it was leaking pretty bad so obviously it's a good time to replace it with the newer style anyway uh, so this pretty much came through the firewall like this and kind of hooked onto the pedal like that and then there was a washer and then a cotter pin that held it through now this pedal that i have is off of a 95 corvette this extra one that i got with the kit it actually just has a regular clip that goes through here not a cotter pin so there are just the two different styles but essentially it's just hooking on the pedal like that and hooking up and then bolts to the firewall all right, so I'm underneath the car now, and there's a seven millimeter clip here holding up this line. And then this is the original slave cylinder here, and this is a 15 millimeter bolt. I think I'm gonna be able to pull this whole line out from underneath the car, so I'm gonna start by doing that. And there's where it goes to the top of the master. All right, so I have the slave and the master out of the car. I'm gonna do a little comparison for the four plus three stuff and then the six speed stuff over there. So this style master cylinder out of the four plus three, it has the line port up at the top here. There is this spacer piece here that this has to be transferred over to the new one like that. And you can see how since that goes into the top like that and then this runs down the firewall and this actually has a rubber flex hose here and you can see that style fitting on the old master cylinder what they use there. So this is all the six speed stuff. So you can see the line goes at the bottom here like that. And this is actually a steel braided line that goes to this style master cylinder which would mount to the side like that. So what I'm going to do now is, since these are just metal, I'm going to tape these all up and I'm going to paint them because if not, they're just going to get all surface rust on them. So since these are bare metal, I'm gonna use this self etching primer on this first, and then I'm gonna follow it up with just a high heat silver paint on them. Okay. 
Okay, so I have this all back together and painted like that, and then I even cleaned up this spacer piece for this, like that. So I'm gonna just go and start hanging this back on the car. Okay, so I have this steel master cylinder line down behind the brake booster and along the firewall down here. So the steel braided end goes first down there. And I'm gonna attach the master cylinder and tighten this in place first, so it'll be easier to access as I bolt this to the firewall. So this is a 1995 master cylinder and it has this little black insert. This has to come out to fit on the 85 because the 85 has a bigger dowel on the clutch pedal for this to fit into. This pops right out, so we'll pull that out and then we'll attach this now. I'm gonna take off the cruise control mount here. There's two 13 millimeter bolts behind you here, so I'm gonna unbolt that just to clear up some more room. And I'm just gonna swing this out of the way here like this. So now the cruise control out of the way, I'm gonna unbolt this support bracket here. There's a 13 mil there and follow it down. And then there's two more down here on the frame, one there and one there. I'm gonna just loosen it and see if it gives me enough room to kind of get this in here. I ended up pulling the battery out here you can actually access this so much better. I was having a hard time getting a wrench on the line with the battery in, even with this bar loose. So I ended up pulling that out. So just so I get this tightened up and get that snugged in place and then I'll put everything back. So it's pretty tight underneath where the clutch pedal is and the clip. So I wasn't able to get the camera in there to film that, but I clipped that in and now I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten this against the firewall here and then snug down that line. Okay, so before I bolt up the slave cylinder, I have to put this shield back up. So I'm gonna put this in place here. Like that, and then I have the three, and they're like seven millimeter head screws to hold this on. Okay, now I have the hose kind of just screwed into the slave cylinder here. So now I'm gonna put this in place. Okay, now I have it all tight in place. The next thing we have to do is just bleed it, but I'm gonna probably wait till we're just getting ready to start the car. All right, so that was over for today's video. So the only thing left is to actually bleed that, but we'll get to that once I get everything back in the car. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Thanks for watching.